Hello everyone, Miss Fisher here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own website using Google Sites. This website is going to be your year-long ongoing art portfolio. It will also serve as your final exam for the year. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up FCPS Google Apps. Double click it. From there, you need to go to Google Apps. Double click that. Click it once actually to open it. Why aren't you opening? There you go. Next, you're going to go down to Sites. Then, you're going to click the plus sign to start a new site. From here, the very first thing I want you to do is to title your site. So highlight this, and you're going to title it your first and last name, Portfolio. Then, your title page, the same title. Once you've done that, you're going to refer to the Google Doc so that you know what sub-pages you're going to make. The very first page you're going to make by going to Pages is the name of the class. So click Pages and then the plus sign and type the name of the class and the period. So this is Studio Art and Design 1 period 6. Done. Within this page, you're going to make a number of sub-pages. So to do that, refer to the Google Doc, which is your assignment. So I'm going to click on Classwork for Studio Art and Design 1, period 6. Under Classwork, I will go to Setting Up Your Google Site, and I'm going to open that. These are the sub-pages I'm referring to. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sub-pages. So those are what I'm going to create right now. So now I'm going back here. Underneath the name of the class, I want you to click the three dots. Then add sub-page and I'm going to type the first thing that was on that list, which is projects. Done. Click the three dots next to the name of the class, not this, and I'm gonna make my second subpage. Sketchbook prompts. Done. Third subpage. Weekly progress picks. Done. Fourth sub page. Artist research. Done. Fifth sub page. Inspiration images. See if I can spell that right. There we go. Done. Six sub page. Museum tours. Done. Seventh sub page. 
Watch and respond. Done. We are almost done with these subpages. Two more. So I want to scroll up and click the three dots next to the name of the class. Click subpage. The eighth one is composition. Done. And the ninth subpage is just for you. It's independent work, and that's all the work that you have done on your own. So all work that you do that is not assigned that you've done on your own will go in this page. So now I have nine subpages, my main page here. If I click over here, you can see a drop down menu of all my sub pages. Now comes the fun part. You get to personalize this a little bit and add themes. So over here, you can see themes. Right now I'm in the simple theme. I can change the color or I can change the theme entirely. So it's up to you, decide which you like the best. I kinda like that one. I'm gonna go with that for now. Another fun part is you can change the image in the background. Now, in this part, you can add your own image or you can select one of the preset images they have. So I can add a typewriter or the beach. I really miss the beach. I'm gonna add the beach. All right. So you can go ahead and do that for all of your pages. I'm gonna to go to projects and I'm gonna choose a background for projects. Once again, remember, change image. You can upload your own image. So if you're uploading your own image, you need to know where you're selecting it from. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that. Or you can select one of their preset images. So for projects, let me see here. I'm going to choose this kaleidoscope. So you're going to go through and add backgrounds for all of your different sub pages. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Once you have finished that, click on independent work and then go to insert. Here, you can choose different layouts for the images that you want to add. I want to have four images on a page, so I would select this one. If I want three images, this one, two images, and so on. So you can decide how you want to lay out your images. I'm gonna select this, and then I'm gonna click the plus sign to select an image. You can upload, and go to image files, I'm gonna cancel that. Or you can select an image. And I'm going to select this thumbnail sketch I did of a pepper. So I'm gonna click it and then click insert. Now, it gives you the option to crop the image. If you want the full image, you need to uncrop it. Then title what you did. So I'm going to put red pepper thumbnail sketch. If I could spell it right. That means that this was a practice sketch I did before creating a red pepper painting. So that's how you add images. The next thing I want to show you is you are only required to turn in what was on the dock. So you don't even have to add any images today. I just want to see that you set up your website. In order for you to send me the link, you have to publish your site. So let me show you how to do that now. I'm gonna go back here even though you're not done, you're gonna publish it and send me the link so I can check all your pages and make sure everything is correct and give you a grade. 
At any point in time, you can unpublish and continue working on your website. So I'm going to click Publish. That's the name. And then I click Publish. Once you have done that, you need to click this little icon up here that looks like a paperclip. And then click Copy Link. Then you're going to go back to your assignment, which is a Google Doc. You're going to click in this table and there are two ways you can paste. You can hit Control V, think of Velcro, sticky Velcro, or you can right click and paste. Now this won't become active until I hit return, or sorry, hit enter. And when it's blue and underlined, I know it's an active link. Now I do want you to test your link before you turn in your work. Okay, so to do that, you need to hit control and click on it. And if it takes you to your site, you know you're good to go. Come on, money. Let's see. Let's try it again. I don't see anything happening. There we go. Woohoo! It works. All right. So you can see it took me straight to independent work. I can go to home page and we are good to go. So that's how you're going to be setting up your own Google website, which will serve as your art portfolio and your final exam for the year. Thanks for watching.